Hey guys, I'm Dave Chesson, and today we're gonna dispense a bit from the book marketing talk, and instead we're gonna focus on a fun little subject since many of us are at home. And I'd like to talk about my favorite science fiction books. So if you're a sci-fi fan and you're looking for a good read, be sure to check those out. Also, if you like more videos on book marketing or some good old nerdy fun, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you get a notification when my next video comes out. With that, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, now before I list off my favorite books, first off, I gotta say, there are a lot of great sci-fi books. These are just my personal favorites. And again, if you're a sci-fi fan, you might wanna take notes because I'd highly recommend them. With that said, these will be kind of in order, but it really depends on what day I feel as to how I'd order them. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, the first book on the list is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Well, to tell you the truth, I think it would be anything in the Ender's verse, but yeah, I mean, Orson Scott Card is a prolific writer, huge fan of him, as you can tell. Um, but again, this entire series was one of the things that actually kickstarted my love for science fiction. Uh, I was probably in about fourth grade when I found it, and from there, well, I came, became the big nerd that I am. And yeah, a, a tad bit of a nerd. Number two, Old Man's War by John Scalzi. I'm not normally a fan of vulgar language or so, and yeah, John's got a little bit of a, a mouth, but his witty humor, the phenomenal story, this is an absolute incredible read and one of my favorites. I've recommended it to a lot of people and it's never let anybody down. Just a heads up, not suitable for kids. Number three, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This one is a fun romp through the 1980s, yet in a science fiction futuristic, Part. Now, you probably heard of the movie and you probably saw it. I'm not gonna lie. I like the movie. It was different to me, different enough from the book. Still pretty cool. I'm probably gonna get hate in the comments for that, but sure, I'll go for it. Uh, but either way, absolutely fun book. And by the way, Will Wheaton reading the Audible version, super cool. All right, number four, We Are Legion, We Are Bob. The Bobiverse by Dennis E. Taylor. This is probably a little less known one, but let me tell you, if you're a fan of Scalzi dialogue, but you want it a bit cleaner, Dennis E. Taylor is probably one of the best. And by the way, Dennis, if you are listening to this seriously, I hope you've quit your day job and you are now a full-time author because your writing is stellar and I read every book you come out with. Number five, Ember Wars by Richard Fox. This book is so good, well, this series is so good that there's actually a graphic novel out there of it and uh, I'm looking to get my hands on it. But major shout out to Richard Fox for being an incredible self-published author and really leading in that industry. Highly recommend you check that out. Number six, Battlefield Earth by L. Ron Hubbard. After I finish Orson Scott Card's Ender's Game, the next book I picked up was Battlefield Earth and it really solidified my love for science fiction. What I love most was actually the second half of the book. The first is great, but the second half was an area that most authors usually neglect. Something that was really cool. Uh, if you do check it out, highly recommend the Audible book. Phenomenal production. Number seven, Forever War by Joe Haldeman. This classic is both a Hugo and Nebula award-winning book, and I think honestly laid the foundation for sci-fi military books uh, after it. To this day, the ending aspect of it really affects the way I think about science fiction and really last, left a lasting impression. Number eight, well, it wouldn't be a Dave Chesson list if there wasn't at least one Star Wars book, and that award's gonna go to Heir of the Empire by Timothy Zahn. This book rekindled my love for Star Wars books, and on top of that too, it introduced me to my all-time favorite Star Wars character, Thrawn. Uh, if you haven't read or seen anything with Thrawn, uh, you're gonna love this character. Number nine, Saga of the Seven Sons by Kevin J. Anderson. Kevin J. Anderson is uh, famous for his works on the Dune series after Frank Herbert's death, as well as some incredible fantasy books, but my favorite of his works is the Saga of the Seven Sons. It's a seven part series. By the way, major shout out to Kevin, who is also a UW graduate like myself. So uh, go Badgers. Number 10, The First Colony Series by Kevin Lazito. Absolute incredible self-published series. I believe he's about to come out with a final book uh, later this month. So really jazzed to get my hands on it, but still gets in this list with the first eight books. So be sure to check that out. All right, now number 11 is gonna probably surprise you but it's Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Now, Brandon Sanderson is famous for his fantasy, and if you haven't read his Away of Kings, that's number one on my fantasy list, but he came out with a science fiction book that actually shocked me. I thought I was reading a fantasy book and then realized quickly, wait a second, this isn't fantasy. Um, it's sort of like 
Last Starfighter meets, I don't know, some really cool elements. So yeah, if you like Last Starfighter and you like that kind of thing, uh, and you love Brandon Sanderson, then hit that one up for sure. All right, guys, this is my favorite 11 science fiction novels. Be sure to comment below. Let me know if there are any that I missed. I'm sure you guys will, <laughs> but I'm always looking for my own list as well, as I am trapped here at home uh, for the next foreseeable future. But either way, guys, thanks so much, and give that like button a smash. Cheers.